Hello students, in one of the previous videos we have seen how image can be formed by a plane mirror and we have also learnt how to draw the related ray diagram for it. Now let us see the ray diagrams which show the image formation by spherical mirrors and let us first consider concave mirrors. Now how to draw the concave mirror for the ray diagrams first? I have drawn here but I will show you how you have to actually draw. You will take a compass. You will take a compass like this, place the tip over here and open it wide and keep the tip of the pencil here like this and then draw the curve. Remember that you have to open the compass, wide, you have to wide open it so that this CP, radius of curvature is greater than the aperture. It means this size should be smaller than the radius of curvature. And you know for such concave mirrors, the F focus lies midway between C and P. So our principal focus will lie here. Okay. So I have drawn the diagrams for concave mirror where the focus lies midway between C and P on the principal axis for mirrors having small apertures. Okay. P is the pole, C is the center of curvature, P is the pole, F is the principal focus and MM dash is the aperture. Now we know that to draw the ray diagram for image, we always assume the object to be, to be of this type and we take at least two rays from A and get to the point where the two rays after reflection meet or appear to meet. Now every time it is very tiring and time consuming if you take D and measure the angles I and R to be equal to draw the reflected rays. So let us see if we can form certain rules for some specific incident rays. Now, in this case, let us consider here first a ray which is parallel to the principal axis. This is one of the one of the kind of incident rays that we can select. We know by definition of focus that parallel rays meet at focus. It means if I take one parallel ray, I know that it is going to pass through focus like this and also I can show here that C and this point of incidence, if I draw a dotted line, this is my normal, this is incident ray, this is I and this is R. So, in other words, always whenever a ray is parallel to principal axis, in case of such concave mirrors having small apertures, we can always without taking D, without using the compass, I can draw the reflected ray to be passing through the focus. And if I take my ray, let us now consider the different kind of ray. Here let me take a ray passing through the focus. If this is my incident ray, now this is the point of incidence, so let me draw the normal here. Normal is this. And as per the laws of one of the laws of reflection, if this is I, the reflected ray will lie on the other side and such that it makes angle R with the normal such that I is equal to R. It means this will be my reflected ray. Now in both the cases we have used the laws of reflection that is I is equal to R. So we see that whenever the ray we choose parallel to principal axis, the reflected ray will pass through the focus. Here we have shown the normal also. But otherwise later on there is no need to show the normal because we can always remember make it a rule that a ray parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus. In this case also, we have drawn the normal here and we have taken an incident ray which is passing through focus and then using the laws of a reflection, we have drawn the reflected ray and we can see that the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis. So in, now for the ray diagram of in, uh, showing image formation of an uh, object, we can always choose such type of incident ray and there is no need to draw the normal then because we have got this rule now that a ray passing through focus becomes parallel to the principal axis after reflecting from a concave mirror. Otherwise also students we know that light follows the law of reversibility. It means when this is the direction in which the light is going and this is the direction in which it is reflecting back 
So light follows a law of reversibility means if we reverse the path, if we consider this is the direction of motion of light, then it gets reflected along this path. So either way we can prove these two things. Now let us consider the third case when the ray is passing through the center of curvature, when our incident ray is passing through the center of curvature. This is one of the incident rays. Now in this case we know that a line joining the center of curvature and the point of incidence for spherical mirrors we have done in previous class that this is nothing but a normal at the point of incidence as we have shown here along the dotted line by the dotted lines. So this is the case of normal incident that incident ray is incident normally. So this is the case that i is equal to 0 and 0 degree and we know i is equal to r. So r is also 0 degree and in this case our reflected ray will retrace the same path. Okay. So if a, an incident ray passes through the center of curvature, it gets reflected back along the same path after reflecting from a concave mirror. Now the last type of ray that we can choose is this, if this is an incident ray which is incident obliquely at the, at the point of, uh, at the pole with principal axis and if this is I, we can use the laws of reflection and we know that here CP like in this case C and this point of incidence. Now here in this case C and this point of incidence means principal axis only is a normal. So we can draw the reflected ray by using the laws of reflection taking care that the two angles are equal and we can draw the and we can draw the reflected ray. So we have got, we have formed rules for four different kinds of rays. In case a ray is parallel to principal axis, then after reflecting from a concave mirror, it passes through focus. And if the ray is passing through focus, then after reflecting from a concave mirror, it becomes parallel. If a ray is passing through center of curvature and then after reflecting from mirror, it reverse, retraces its path, same path, okay. And if a ray is incident obliquely at P with the principal axis, then it gets reflected back like this following the laws of reflection that is I is equal to R. So out of these four rays, we can choose any two rays coming from this A tip and get the ray diagram showing the image formation of AB as A dash V dash. Let us see how we can do this. Now let us see image formation by concave mirror and for this we know that we are going to take a compass again and place the tip point, tip of the compass at the one point and then open it wide and draw this curve such that this is smaller than CP. Okay. Then afterwards we can draw this line and take the mid midpoint as F. So this is C where the tip is placed is C. Midpoint is F and this point is P pole and this is aperture M and dash. Now let us consider first case when the object is far away from the mirror. So object is at infinity. Infinity means when the distance is much larger than aperture, much larger than radius of curvature. So when it is far away from the mirror, we can consider it to be at infinity. So case 1 let us consider when the object is at infinity and we have already seen in the previous lectures that when the object is at infinity we consider the rays to be parallel to the principal axis like this. If the object is at is far away then the rays coming from them can be taken as parallel. So here I will choose parallel rays. But remember that we have to choose the rays which are close to the principal axis, not far away from it. So here I have chosen 1, 2, even I can take this ray also. So if I take, we can take 3 rays here, no problem. So if I take these rays coming from object at infinity, we know by rule, if we recall the rules that we have studied just now, we know the parallel rays after reflecting from concave mirror passes through the focus. So here this ray will pass through the focus. 
this and if I consider this incident ray, it will pass through this focus. Okay. And we know if, if it is not required, but we can take this third ray in this case. If it is passing through C, it is a case of normal incidence. So in that case, it will be reflected back along the same path. So now let us see the rays are coming from object at infinity, like in this case, far away. So where are the rays meeting after reflection at focus? It means image is formed at focus. Okay, image, now normally we get the image like this. If this is a principal axis and plane mirror, we were getting the image of A like this, A dash. So we were drawing like this, image, right? Now in this case, we are already getting the image on at, the, at focus only. It means when it is formed at focus only, how can you draw this, you know, like this? So it means our image is very small, it is point-sized image. So in this case, when object is at infinity, the image is formed at focus. So we can say image's position is at F, focus, nature. Now, if you recall, I have told you, in case of plane mirror, virtual image is formed, virtual and erect image is formed. And that image is formed when the rays appear to meet after reflection. But in this case, we can see that the rays are actually meeting after reflection. They do not appear to meet, they actually meet. So in such case, the image formed nature, we can say, is always real and inverted. Although from the diagram, it is not visible that it is inverted because it is point-sized image. But we know that whenever rays meet after reflection, image formed is real and inverted. Now size, as I have already told you, see had it been, had they, if the two rays meet at this point, then this becomes an image. But in this case, the, this tip is forming here only. It means, it means image is highly diminished or we can write the image is point sized. Okay, so I hope you have understood this ray diagram properly that in case of concave mirror, when the object is at infinity, we can draw the parallel rays, rays parallel to the principal axis and close to it and we see that they meet after reflection at focus. So from this ray diagram, we can say that image position is formed at F at focus and because they actually meet at focus after reflection, so nature is real and inverted because by definition real image is formed when the rays meet after reflection in case of mirrors. And size, as I've told you, it is highly diminished point size or very, very small. Now let us consider the second case when the object is beyond C. Actually, we have first considered that the object is far away from concave mirror at infinity. Now we are considering that it is climbing beyond C. Beyond C means on this side of C, not very far away, not at infinity. So I can draw the draw an object here. Take care that the object should not be very big. Because if you draw an object which is very big, then the ray will be far away from principal axis and that may, uh, that may you know, change the rule actually for ray, that it may not pass through focus afterwards. So here, let me take one ray from A point. I have chosen this ray parallel to the principal axis because I can take any two rays from here. From A, I have to take two rays and get the point where the rays meet after reflection and then I can form the image of A as A dash. So I have chosen one ray which is parallel to principal axis. I know it is after, reflect after reflection, it is going to pass through the focus. I can extend this ray now. Okay. Now one ray is this, parallel to principal axis, it passes through focus after reflection. Now second ray that we are going to choose, we can choose either of the three rays that I have explained to you before. Okay, let me choose ray passing through center of curvature. I can choose this ray also. If a ray is passing through center of curvature, 
we know that it is a case that it is incident normally and in that case it reflects back along the same path. So this is my one incident ray and this is my reflected ray. This is my second incident ray and it retraces back along the same path. So this is my reflected ray. So these two, one, two, these two reflected rays meet at this point. So this becomes the image of A and we can write it as A dash. And now I can draw the image A dash, A dash. Okay, so we can say that when object is, we have seen, when object is placed beyond C, we can choose any two rays coming from A. Here I have taken one parallel and the other passing through center of curvature. You could have chosen it passing through focus also. If you take the ray passing through focus, then we know it becomes parallel to the principal axis. Anyway, they are going to meet at this point only. So out of four rays, two rays are chosen and their point of intersection is obtained and then the image is formed. We can, now what about the image position? Where is the image position? Between C and F. Between center of curvature and focus, principal focus. What is the nature? As I have told you earlier also that the two reflected rays actually meet. So the image is formed. So nature will be real. And in this case, we can easily see that it is inverted. So nature is real and inverted. And what about the size? Size is, we can see that this A dash V dash is smaller than AB. So it is diminished. Diminished. You know why I have told you to take the small size object? Because had you taken it large size object, then suppose if this size object you take and then you pass the ray from C. See where the ray is going here. It is not striking the surface, reflecting surface of the mirror. Then you can have difficulty in drawing the ray diagrams. So in order to draw the diagram smoothly, in order to avoid any problem, you should have the object size to be not very big. Okay, so take it small only. So here now, first we have considered object to be at infinity. Now we are coming closer. Second case was object was beyond C. So third case will be object is at C. So object is at C is a third case. And as I have told you, we'll take the small size object only, not very huge in order to avoid any difficulty. Now this is our object AB. Again, you will draw two rays from A to get the image of A. One parallel to principal axis. This ray is always convenient. Parallel to principal axis. We know it is going to pass through focus. Now in this case you have to remember one thing. It is going to pass through focus. And you make small error. Your ray diagram will go wrong. So you have to be very careful when you draw this. This is one incident ray and this is the corresponding reflected ray. Other ray I can choose, I can choose passing through focus also. And then after reflection as this incident ray is passing through focus, after reflection, it is going to become parallel to the principal axis. So this is my incident ray, this is my reflected ray and here the two rays appear to meet. Let me erase this C here now. This was center of curvature. So this now from A two rays were considered, two incident rays, one is this and this is a reflected ray and second incident ray was this passing through focus, it has become parallel to the principal axis and so this is the point where the two rays meet after reflection, this is image A dash and now I can draw the image A dash B dash. 
So we can see in this ray diagram when the object is at C, image is also formed at C. Okay, so position is of image is at C. Nature, we can easily see that it is real and inverted because the rays actually meet after reflection and we can whenever rays re, image is real it is also inverted and it is visible also here so image is real and inverted size if you measure these two size, heights of the object and height of image we see that they are equal so size same as that of object So in this case, as we are coming from infinity towards C, first the image was highly diminished. When the object was beyond C, it was diminished. When the object is at C, image is of same size. Okay. Now case 4 is when object is placed between C and F. So between C and F. Let me choose this place, small size object AB, two rays from A, one let me consider parallel to the principal, let me consider parallel to the principal axis and we know it is going to pass through focus. And the other way, let me choose, this ray will be better passing through focus. So I have chosen here one ray parallel to the principal axis, it, become, it passes through the focus. Other ray passing through the focus, I know it becomes parallel, we, know, we all know that it becomes parallel to the principal axis. So this is how we are drawing the reflected ray. So this is the point where the, this first reflected ray and the second reflected ray meet of meet in case of this case. So this is the image of A, A dash and so we can draw the image A dash, A dash. As it is clearly seen from the diagram that image position is now beyond C image position is beyond C, beyond center of curvature. Nature is real and inverted and size, it is clearly visible. Size is greater than the size of object. So we can say enlarged or magnified. It is greater than the size of object. Also remember one point that in this case place the object between C and F exactly try to place it midway between C and F or closer towards C side. Why? Because if you place it closer towards F side then your image will be formed far away from this and sometimes the intersecting point may go beyond your notebook's page. And then your ray diagram will be either incomplete or you will, you will forcefully make the rays meet on the page. So it is better to draw the object between C and F either at the center or closer towards C, not closer towards F in order to avoid any inconvenience or difficulty. Our fifth case is when the object is at F in front of concave mirror. So here I draw the object AB. We have to choose any two rays from A. One, this is the most convenient ray parallel to principal axis. So it is going to pass through focus. Okay. Now the other ray 
we cannot pass it to focus because object itself is at focus. So what we can do is either we can draw this ray oblique one. This is an incident ray which is incident to obliquely with principal axis. So using the laws of reflection we can draw the reflected ray such that I is equal to R. And if I draw taking care that I is equal to R this will be my reflected ray. So from A two rays are coming. I have assumed to one this. It is get it reflected like this because parallel will pass through focus. The other incident obliquely. So I have used the law of reflection. I is equal to R and it is now pa passing like this. Okay. So we can see now. Let us see where the rays meet after reflection. Now these two rays seem to be parallel, and we know that parallel rays meet at infinity so they meet at infinity okay so if the rays meet at infinity after reflection from this it means a's image is lying at infinity so if a dash is lying at infinity obviously image of this object a dash b dash is also lying at infinity and we cannot show the representation of the image here just we can write meet at infinity Okay, so image position. You can easily answer now. Where where is the image position when object is at f at infinity? Nature obviously, if they are going to meet here at infinity below the principal axis, they are going to meet. So nature will be real and inverted. Signs. When they are going to meet at infinity below the principal axis, you can just imagine that the size will be highly enlarged or magnified. Now in this case, I have chosen these two rays. You can choose this ray also. Suppose if I choose a ray now, I cannot take a ray passing through C as C is lying this side. But I can take the ray to be appear to be coming from C. This this has to be dotted line. So now I can choose one incident ray to be appear to be coming from center of curvature. We know that when the ray passes through C, or even remember, if it appears to be coming from C, it reflects back along the same path. It means. From these one, two, three, any two rays you could have chosen, but in the in any of the case, the reflected rays appear to meet at infinity only. So now I can draw this dotted line solid because a reflected ray is coming along the same path. So all the three rays are parallel. So instead of three, you can choose two incident rays and get two reflected rays, which will be parallel. So. I hope this is clear. Now, our last case in case of concave mirror is when object is between F and P. Between F and P. So, I'll take the object between F and P, preferably at center. A, B. I have to get two rays from A. So one, let me take parallel to principal axis. We know that now it is going to pass through focus. It is going to pass through focus. So this is incident ray, and this is a corresponding reflected ray. Now the other ray again, I can choose either obliquely incident at this point P, or appears to be coming from C. Any of these two rays will be convenient for you. If I choose this oblique one, this is my incident ray. Now, how will you draw the reflected ray? It is very simple. We know I should be equal to R, but we cannot pick, use maths and uh, do the construction and measure picking up D to know that I is equal to R. The best way is, if this A is, let us say, few centimeters above this principal axis, you can draw a point 
which is below principal axis and equidistant from principal axis. Okay. So now when you draw this ray, these two angles will be equal. So one ray is parallel to the principal axis, it is passing through focus, other incident obliquely with principal axis and just by taking a point equidistant from principal axis below it, I have taken this point and I have drawn this reflected ray. So I is equal to R, this is my other reflected ray. You can also choose the ray appear to be coming from C like this. Okay, we know it will retrace back along the same path. But let us choose now, we have chosen this only. Now we know that the two reflected rays here, they are diverging. See, this is first and this is second. They are diverging this side. It means they are not going to meet this side. So we have to produce these rays backwards. But behind the mirror, they are not actually present. So we are producing it by showing dotted lines. don't we end here you should extend it and get the point of intersection the point of intersection should be very clear this is a point of intersection and now I can extend this also extend the principal axis this is not a ray I can draw the solid line here so this is a point A from where two rays are coming out and these two are the corresponding reflected rays they are diverging this side, so we have produced them backwards by using dotted lines and got the point where they appear to meet. So this is a point which is an image of A dash and as a ray is formed behind the mirror and it is formed because the rays after reflection appear to meet, so I can draw the image like this by dotted line only. Because now it is a virtual image. As in case of plane mirror, here also we are getting virtual image. So, what is virtual image? You, I hope you will remember that image which is formed when the rays after reflection appear to meet. Okay, so behind the mirror lies virtual image and in front of mirror lies the real image. So, where is image position? As we can see from the diagram, behind the mirror. And what about its nature? You should be able to easily answer now. Virtual and erect. You can see that it is erect. Size, we can easily see that A dash, B dash is size is more than AB. So enlarged or magnified. Okay. So this last case, we have finished all the six cases. There are six cases. Uh, to represent the image formation by using ray diagrams in case of concave mirror. We have seen that in the first five cases, the image was real and inverted and only in this last case when the object is between P and F, image is virtual and erect. Image is virtual, erect and magnified or enlarged. And real image we have seen, we get first highly diminished image, then diminished image, same size in image, magnified image, highly magnified image, okay. So real image of all different sizes is possible, but virtual image that which is formed in case of concave mirror is always magnified. I hope you have understood how to draw the ray diagrams showing image formation by a concave mirror for all six different cases. So students practice this ray, these ray diagrams at home. And first of all, you should know the rule that how to open the compass wide and draw this aperture smaller than the CP and then draw the principal axis, give letters F, C, P, M, M dash on the figure. I hope the video is clear and you have achieved, you have understood the topic very well. Thank you.